Okay, so an application of derivative is finding the equation of the line, actually tangent line, to a given curve. Okay, so context first, okay. How do we understand the tangent line in relation to any given curve? Suppose we have a random curve, say this graph, and we have to consider, say, a certain point on the graph. When we say tangent line, it's the line that will be crossing or touching the graph at one point on a specific interval. Okay? So, now note when we say tangent, because before we are limited to understanding tangent as intersecting at a single point. It's possible to cross two points, but if we consider like a specific interval, we could see that the red point, uh, the, the line will be touching the graph at that red point. And on this side, we could still expect the, the line to be crossing the curve again. Okay, But we're not concerned about the rightmost part of the graph. We are concerned about the point. So the green line is what we call the tangent line. So in some problems, you will be asked to find the equation of that tangent line. But going back to algebra, whenever we speak of lines, one of the equations that we could think of is the form y equals mx plus b. And that's basically what we need, that y equals mx plus b. In the y equals mx plus b, you only need two numbers, the value of the m and the value of the b. Sometimes the M is, is already in, uh, indicated in the problem. Sometimes you have to look for it. In this case, it says that the line has a slope of 8. So once we know, or once we start with Y equals MX plus B, we just put in the values um, to complete the M and the B. So M is already indicated, and it's 8 and then x, and then plus b. Now, the second value that we need to find is b. So how are we going to find the b? To find the b, we need to, to really find what is that point, that red point there, what is the x value and the y value, because that point is contained in the tangent line. Okay? And and every point that is contained in the tangent line can be placed on the x and y of y equals 8x plus b. Okay. So a new problem is like, what, what will be that point? How can we identify that point? Okay, now here is the relationship. In calculus, the slope of the tangent line is actually the derivative of the curve at that point the dy over dx. So the tangent line, the slope of the tangent line, the m of the tangent line is equal to the dy over dx at the given point. Okay, so that, with that, it means we have to find the dy over dx, the derivative of y equals 3x squared minus 4x plus 2. Okay? So, we have y equals 3x squared minus 4x plus 2 dy over dx is equal to review the derivative 6x minus 4 this is the slope of the tangent line and in this specific problem the slope of the tangent line is equal to 8 were you able to connect the information? Yes. The, <laughs> the slope of the tangent line is the derivative at that point. When we take the derivative, it says 6x minus 4. So in this specific problem, the 6x minus 4 is equal to 8. Because that is the m, the slope of the tangent line. So what will that give us? 6x minus 4 is equal to 8 
will allow us to find the value for x. So 6x is equal to 8 plus 4. So 6x is equal to 12, and x is equal to 2. 2 lang. Okay? So the point is 2, and then the y is still unknown. So where are you getting the y? Substitute on the y equals 3x squared minus 4x plus 2. So if y is equal to 3x squared minus 4x plus 2, then this means at x equals 2, it's 3, 2 squared minus 4 times 2 plus 2. And what is the value? 6. 6 pan and then 4 plus 2. So this is equal to 6. So the point that we need is 2, 6. That's the red point earlier. Okay, so 2, 6. Okay, going back to, remember the missing b here, y equals 8x plus b. This time, we use the point 2, 6 to find the b. So if y is equal to 8x plus b, and considering the point 2, 6, it means 6 is equal to 8 times 2 plus b. And this is 6 equals 16 plus b. When you manipulate, b is negative 10. So the equation is actually 8x minus 10. And your tangent line. Okay.